Hey guys, Fox1989 here. So, I was doing some playing around after that last crash, and I was trying to figure out what caused it. Unfortunately, I think it might be the seed. Now, you guys saw that I was in gate A, I was out. So what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to first of all let you see what the heck I'm doing, so BAM! Uh, what I'm actually going to do is, I'm going to delete this one. I'm going to put a new game under the same name. Assuming I can spell. And the same uh, seed. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to teleport directly to gate A. If I can't get the teleport to work, I'll just stick on God mode and no clip and just blast through the facility until I get there. Because the only thing left to do is to take the elevator up and walk to victory. That's it. Gate A is actually my favorite ending so far. Uh, gate B, you get to see, you know, 682's arm take down a helicopter, which, uh, it's cool, it's okay. But, in Gate A, so, uh, the Gate A ending, at least you get to live. Sure, you might get kidnapped by the Chaos Insurgency, but hey, you get to live. And by the way, in case you guys don't know, for the people who um, don't kind of really worry about the story, basically what happens is it's theorized, and regardless, I said nothing, mentioned nothing about this so far, but it's theorized that Dr. George Maynard was actually a um, spy for the Chaos Insurgency. I forgot to take off the ending, or the intro. That um, Dr. Maynard is a Chaos Insurgency spy. And that what happens is he... They've got some work to uh, released 106. And then in Just the end, kind of started the whole um, to kill any disobedient test breach. subjects. So don't try anything stupid. In fact, in Maynard's office, if you look at the uh, the monitor on the wall, it has an unknown name sending a message to another unknown name saying it's out, and now they're saying something along the lines of proceeding as planned. Like I said, it's presumed that he's help start the uh, the containment breach with the help of uh, the rest of the Chaos Insurgency. It's presumed he was then caught by 106 and possibly killed, which is why the burnt node that leads to his office is in 106's uh, dimension. Please enter the containment chamber. How about I approach the door for escaping? Uh, there seems to be a problem with the door control system. The door isn't responding to any of our attempts to close it. So please maintain direct eye contact with SCP-173 and just... I 
So you can see right down there, 106 coming out of the ground. He's going to attempt to escape the facility. You told there's supposed to be a door there. Be careful, if you do um, touch 106, you will still send you the block dimension. So that's the HID turret, or high intensity discharge. Now, as you get close to the end, you know too much to let them get you. You're coming with us. I don't know, they're from behind you, too. Now you hear that bell that appears? It's presumed that that's the Bell of Entropy, which is one of the um, SCPs that the uh, Chaos Insurgency made out with when they uh, left the actual foundation back in, I think, 1927 is what it says on the wiki. So you hear that where they say that the tunnel seemed to be blocked off or it caved in, but it wasn't just an ordinary cave in, it was anomalous. So that was most likely due to the Bell of Entropy, which is able to create destruction based on where it struck. So we're going to go down the list. Didn't use console commands. Technically, we had to, we had no choice. So we're going to say check. Contained 106. That's a big no. Escape the pocket dimension, never even went there, so no. Lower 106 that would test the gate, tried, failed, for some reason. SNAP ultimate, yes. Keycard Omni, yes. The two offices, didn't even try, so no. So there you go, guys, that's SCP-173. I went through it with practically no jumps whatsoever. I did jump the one time when um, 173 got me up on the catwalk because he wasn't supposed to be there but whatever that's the that's life right so uh thanks for watching thanks for listening and this is fox 1 1989 signing off